Hey guys, as we put a bow on 2017, it's time to look back at a year and a season of celebration. From state titles to special moments and everything in between, here are the top 15 moments in no particular order, the nominees that Glenn and I have chosen, and at the end, you can choose which was the best sports moment of 2017. It's deja vu for the Dons. A year after shocking the then number three Indiana Hoosiers at Memorial Coliseum, IPFW does it again in convincing fashion at Assembly Hall. The Dons knocked down 17 three-pointers on their way to the 92-72 victory. 2017 was also twice as nice for St. Francis. The Cougars repeated as NAIA national champs in Daytona Beach, Florida as they topped Reinhardt 24-13. And that wasn't the only trophy they brought back to Fort Wayne as quarterback Nick Ferrer was named NAIA player of the year. Homestead became a part of basketball royalty this year. The Spartans beat Pike in the 4A state title game to clinch the championship. And guard Caris McLaughlin, she cemented her legacy at Homestead by earning Miss Indiana basketball. She's now playing at Purdue. Biggie made the big jump to the NBA. The former Homestead and Purdue big man, Caleb Swanigan, was selected in the first round of the NBA draft. With that 26th selection, the Portland Trailblazers picked Swanigan. The feel-good story of the year has to be Jalen Smith. The Bishop Lures graduate tore his knee apart in his final game at Notre Dame. After rehabbing, falling in the draft, rehabbing some more, and finally getting selected by the Dallas Cowboys, Smith saw the field as a professional. The swipe isn't done. He's just getting started. In a return to prominence, Canterbury boys soccer clinched the 1A state title in dramatic fashion. With just four minutes remaining in their game, Michael Clark scored the game-winning goal for the Cavs. It's their sixth state title in school history, which is the most in Indiana history. Kevin Kiermeyer said, show me the money this year. The Bishop Lewis graduate and Rays center fielder signed a massive $54 million contract. The two-time Gold Glover battled injuries this season, but he'll be back in 2018. And speaking of the bigs, a few local guys received a call of a lifetime. Northrop's Garrett Shanley, Ball State's Colin Brockhouse, and Huntington University's Dalton Combs were all selected in the Major League Baseball draft. 2017 was a perfect strike for Sidney Brummett. The Homestead grad and Wichita State Shocker won the NCAA individual title and was named Bowler of the Year. It doesn't stop there. She picked up the spare and was also selected to Team USA. Another year, another successful season for the Comets. Fort Wayne retired the jerseys of Al Sims and Colin Chalk. Legendary radio announcer Bob Chase was also honored as the Comets dedicated Bob Chase Way outside Memorial Coliseum where he went to work for 63 years. In 2017, Indiana High School Hoops was talked about on the floor of Congress in our nation's capital. Churubusco Boys Basketball earned a sectional title for the first time in the 99-year history of the program, and Representative Jim Banks made sure the entire country knew how proud he was of them. The most surprising year has to belong to Colt Kyler. The Pearson, Indiana boy was just helping his dad on their family farm when he went viral on the internet. Kyler was surprised with Cubs tickets, and it didn't stop there. He became a national story and got to enjoy the VIP treatment on a special trip to Wrigley. The hits just keep on coming in 2017, and Alexa Allen knows all about that. The Leo softball player broke the all-time IHSAA hits record, getting knock number 223 and beyond to close out her historic career for the Lions. Last and certainly not least is Iron Man Demarcus Beasley. The Fort Wayne native continues his illustrious career and was named to the Major League Soccer all-star team. The 34-year-old now has played in four World Cups and has made five all-star game appearances. Those are the top 15 moments that we pulled together and now it's your turn. Go to the Wayne Sports page online or our Facebook page to cast your vote. The winner will be announced on New Year's Eve. I'm Andy McDonald. We'll be right back.